They say we don't have money. Akwea, eh, we don't have money. Today is Democracy Day, oh, June 12th, eh, the day where they annul the election of MKO Abiola. The freest election, according to them, oh, ever recorded inside this country. Where they no agreement, the guy in rule. They annul the election. And news reaching to me is that nine people, now they sabotage. Why they no uh, announce them as president? Say nine people sabotage that process. You understand? Now them follow, push up, push up. Make you go self, announce himself. We make IBB provoke. <laughs> Carry and put inside cell. Uh, say you want to overthrow my government? You want to you, you want to conduct a coup? Uh -huh. My people push on that time. Go and ask yourself. I don't want to talk about that MKO Abiola. But they say that the freest and best election that this country has ever conducted. Uh -huh. So they don't move our democracy day now from 29th of May, Kara enter 12th of June. And now why would they celebrate time today? The presidency that said they don't have money. They cannot increase minimum wage. They want to kill Nigerians with 60,000 naira in an economy that even a bag of rice, 6,000 naira cannot buy. Do you want to know what they want to go and do now to celebrate June 12th, Democracy Day? I will show you now in this video that I want to play. So you understand how this government wants to celebrate Democracy Day. Now them, them. Ah, you get to it. Help me and watch this video. The Senate clerk. This is to inform all senators that there will be a boss to convey them from the National Assembly complex to the State House Conference Center. Only the Senate President and Deputy will be allowed to drive in, in their vehicles into the venue. This is for Wednesday, 12th of June, 2024 and the boss will depart the National Assembly complex by 6 p.m. So senators are expected to, to, arrive, to be in the complex before 6 p.m. so that they can join the boss and go for a dinner. So they don't go and stop you from driving in. This time by Chinedu, you don't see them. Uh -huh. They don't call all of them for banquet to, uh, for dinner. The all of them see to house of rap. They will come state house. You understand? When I hear them inside that video, boss will go come wait for them inside Senate chambers, inside National Assembly. Pack all of them enter state house. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So that president to go carry your car, come other people, hey! They go pack them there, they go whine and dine on behalf of Nigerians. And when they are done whining and dining, make I clear you now, if tomorrow they come and talk, say, now 100 billion naira, they used to do this, they are get together. Make you no surprise you. Come back again, you have surprise you again. At a time when Nigerians are hungry, we are looking for a way out of this hungry situation. This is June 12th. Our president don't come out now. He don't come do address to address Nigerians on June 12th. He say, eh, I can never leave you people to suffer. I can never abandon you people. And I wait till that is speech they talk. You understand? Uh -huh. Now, we say, you're supposed to identify with the people. Una, or you people are organizing yourself to go and wine and dine inside State House. When I see the letter now, um, 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 wait till I probably read them now. See, all of you come, boss, go carry owner. When I go enter, say, go wine and and now money they go spend for there. They go even share money. Which be, they go share. Now to go meet them now. You understand? This one you give you. This one one billion naira. One billion. They go share one billion naira. You understand? They go come chop. The last last they come put them together. I can't tell that I go come show us. I be minister of finance. Go come show us. Say, eh, uh -huh. on the twelfth of June there was a banquet in the presidential villa attended by the people's representatives, and this was what they spent on drinks, food, and the rest of them. Hundred billion igifool. <laughs> but they cannot pay minimum wage. Minimum wage that two fifty they cannot pay. But they have packed themselves now to go and enjoy. What? Let ask yourself this democracy day now. What is there to celebrate our democracy? Where number one, 
the will of the people was submerged. I was submerged with the English. Did I speak it well? Or was averted or diverted? But you, you shall understand the English I was speaking. <laughs> was diverted. You understand? And another person took over. Because in the last presidential election, we did not vote for Tunodomo Kulula. I know, but the Trubu did not win that election. But they say he's a Democrat. He's the man of the people. He's a, eh, 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 he fought for democracy. You know, with the election, he was declared, Yakub Mahmoud declared him as the winner. Against the will of the people. Is that what we are celebrating on June 12th? Is that not tantamount to what happened to MKO Abiola? What Tinubu did, if you compare with what happened to MKO, no, the same thing. MKO Abiola won election, he was not declared. In the case of Tinubu, Tinubu did not win the election, he was declared. The person that won the election was not declared. Very clean. So what are we celebrating? That the people are suffering? Their, their, their mandate was stolen because it was a stolen mandate. I repeat it. It was a stolen mandate. Tinobu is standing on a stolen mandate. And then on top of that, they don't pack themselves now in the state house to go and celebrate. Demo. Which, demo, which stupid, useless democracy? Which stupid, useless democracy are they celebrating? Democracy is not a government of the people, by the people and for the people. The people must elect their leader. But in Tudobo's case, on your vote, Turugi, how did you win the election? You simply gave your people a command. Chase it, grab it. Power is not given a la carte. The end justifies the means. That was the marching order you gave to your people. And last, last, you were declared president of Nigeria. 4 a.m. in the morning, you were the only person awake with your people. Other people don't sleep. Now, only on a day awake. When Yakubu Mahmoud declared you as the winner of that election, we woke up to hear that hey, we now have a new president. At the middle of the night, it has never happened before. And you were awake when they were announcing it, when every other person we are sleeping. Is that democracy? Now, when I don't pack on a same when I go celebrate on a kurukere kurukere, it's all right. I see, I see, make I just come table on a matter as it be. Don't be surprised if tomorrow they come out and tell you that they have spent. 100 billion naira on food and drink to celebrate Democracy Day inside Aso Villa. Make it no surprise you. I go see Ona later. <laughs>